Hello friends, welcome to lmsdaily.com. In today's episode, I will be showing you about the Group Choice Moodle plugin. The Group Choice Moodle plugin allows students. The Group Choice Moodle plugin. <coughs> Hello friends, welcome to lmsdaily.com. In today's episode, I will be showing you about the Group Choice Moodle plugin. The Group Choice Moodle plugin allows the students to enroll themselves in a group within a Moodle course. As a teacher, you can select which groups students can choose from and the maximum number of students allowed within a group. So let us see how you can use it in your Moodle course and how to configure it. So I have got this group choice plugin installed on my Moodle site and it is a completely blank course wherein there are no users so I will just show you how you can create a group choice activity for the students. In order to get started you need to click this edit mode toggle switch to turn the editing mode on. And here let us try to add the group choice activity. Group choice. So as you can see that since I do not have any participants in the course, so the plugin has created an error message to create at least one group in this course. So first I need to create some groups in the course. So let me go to this participants tab and, and, and uh, click this drop down to go to the groups page. Here, let me click on create group. Let us see if save changes. And I will create one more group as P. So I have two groups now. Let me go back again and try if I can add the activity. So yes, as you can see now, I am able to see this setting screen for the group choice activity. So let me give it a name. You can provide a description here if you need. And under this miscellaneous settings, you can select this box to allow the enrollments to multiple groups. The next option is the publish results and it is by default set to always show results to the students. Here you need to be careful in choosing the options because once you allow to show the results to the students then it does mean that after enrolling in any group they will be able to see the other participants and <clears throat> it might be possible that you do not want to allow the students to see the other participants. The other options include do not publish the results to the students and it will not show them which group they are enrolled. The next option is to show the results to students after they answer. The third option is to show the results to the students only after the choice is closed, which means that all the groups will be published to the students only when the due date is passed for this activity. The last option is to always show the results to the students which I will not recommend to choose in the initial phase. The next option is for the privacy of results. So here you can see the options as publish full results showing names and their choices. This 
can be a issue for some students uh, so better i will recommend you to choose this publish anonymous results and do not show the student's name the next option is if you want to allow the students to update their choice at a later date then you can keep it to yes otherwise better keep it to no then the next option is to show the column for the unanswered if you want to show it then you can choose it as yes the next option is to filter out the response data for users with expired or suspended enrollments if you want to filter them out then you can keep it to yes and the next option is to limit the number of responses allowed here you can enable and put a limitation in this field so i will just put it to one and apply to all groups now here you need to choose the groups which are added in this one so i will just click on add group here and i will click add group here just click save and display afterwards and as you can see that here a student will see it like this that the choice of group is here and they need to select anyone the group name is here the members or capacity is defined here and then the group members are shown here so let me click here and click save my choice so this is how you can choose so this is how you can use this group choice plugin in your moodle course thank you very much for watching this video please don't click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to subscribe to our youtube channel and get all the latest videos in your inbox instantaneously thank you very much for watching this video